Within this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and walk through using MetaSounds. We're gonna to have to enable the actual plugin. We're gonna go ahead and set a MetaSound up. We'll add a MetaSound to the actual level. We're gonna go ahead and set that MetaSound to loop, just in case you need that. And we're also gonna set it up so that you can't hear it really, really far away. And when you walk back into that area, it'll pick up where it should have as if time has passed. Because generally what happens is when you leave a specific area, the audio stops playing. And we don't want that if we're using something like a music score or something like a song. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out how we do this. To begin this process, we're actually going to need the MetaSounds plugin enabled. So it's actually very easy to do. Just come up here to where it says settings, click on this and go ahead and open up the plugins area right here. And up here in the search bar, just go ahead and search for MetaSound, all one word. And you'll see that I do not actually have it enabled, so you will also need to enable it. So you can just click on that little checkbox right there. And it will let you know that, hey, this is in beta as of this recording. So I'll go ahead and just say, yes, that's fine. And I do need to actually restart the engine. So I'll go ahead and restart it, and I will be back in just a moment. From here, we can go ahead and just close down our plugins. We won't need that, but we will need some actual audio. Now, I'm going to assume that you do have audio. Now, if you don't, you can actually just come down here into the content drawer down here at the very bottom and go ahead and click on this Add button that you see right here. And instead of here, go ahead and choose the second from the top where it says Feature Pack or Content. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And if you go to the content section right here, you can actually get the starter content totally for free. And this does have the audio pieces that I will be working with inside of it. Then all you have to do is just go ahead and hit the add to project, go ahead and let it load and then catch up with me as soon as it's finished. Our next task is to go ahead and create a meta sound. So let's go ahead and open up the content drawer again. And inside of here, you can see inside my starter content, I'm going to go and navigate into the audio folder. And I'm going to go ahead and just create a meta sound inside of here. So all I need to do is right click in a blank area come up here to where it says sounds, go ahead and choose a meta sound source. I'm going to go ahead and name this one my sound and just go ahead and double click on it to open it up. And this event graph is going to navigate like any of the others inside of Unreal. So what we need to do inside of here is to actually get the audio to play. And to do that, we're going to need a node that's called the wave player. So to get that, all you need to do is just right click inside of the graph anywhere and type in wave player and then go ahead and choose the wave player option right here. So there we have it. Now, what we need to do is tell this wave player what audio we actually want to play. And in this example, we're gonna go ahead and use the fire one. So I'll open up my content drawer and we have this fire one right here and I can click and drag this onto this little spot where it says wave asset and we'll go ahead and load that in there. Next thing we need to do is hook up a couple of wires. So for our on play, let's go ahead and just connect our on play to play. And then over here, we'll do a left out and drop this into mono. Not gonna worry about actually doing left and right on this tutorial, but you can go ahead and use a mono mixer and connect both of these in here like so, if you want to. So what the heck, let's just go ahead and do it because now it's done. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and test this to see what this is gonna sound like. And we do actually have a little play button up here in the top left-hand corner. You can go ahead and click to play it. So I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but it is good to know that this sound specifically will last a total of six seconds. And you can see that right here where it says duration. So after six seconds, it's going to stop playing. So what we want it to do is to go ahead and loop. So let's go ahead and turn this one on. Now, for those of you that are taking notes, there's something very, 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 very important that you need to deal with. If you want your audio to loop, you cannot have this in here. So we need to get rid of it. If you're just doing a one shot, you don't have to worry about this at all. But if you want it to loop, you have to get rid of this. So I can go ahead and select it and hit delete and nothing happens. So how do we get rid of this thing? Well, actually all we need to do is to come over here under our interfaces and you'll see this UE source one shot. All we have to do is just go ahead and click that little trash can right there, poof, and now it's gone. So now this will actually allow this audio to loop over and over and over. So let's go ahead and hit save. And let's go ahead and drag this into the world and see how this works. So let's go back to the actual level. So we can just go ahead and click on the tab up here and drop one of these sounds into the world. So I'll just go ahead and open up my content browser and I'm gonna go ahead and use this My Sound right here and I'm gonna just click and drag it and I'm gonna drop it right on top of this little platform right there. Now, there's a couple things that I wanna to do to this before we actually listen to it and that is to actually change the attenuation. So over here inside of the search, if you look for ATT, 
and we'll actually find the attenuation. And specifically what I'm looking for is this override attenuation because I want to row override it. And what this will do with this toggled on is you will see this huge sphere all the way around it. Now the center of this is where you're going to hear the sound at 100%. And then that bigger sphere there is where it will slowly get louder and louder till you get to the center. So I don't want this to be that big. So I'm going to set that inner radius to 300. And this falloff distance is going to be the distance from that inner sphere to the edge of that outer sphere. So I'm just going to set this back down to like 600 or so. There we go. And I'll just zoom in on that. So excellent. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and play the game and listen to what this sounds like. So I'll go ahead and play and I'll walk up to it. And we can actually hear that fire and it's looping, which is awesome. Now, there is one thing that we do need to deal with before we move on. And it's not really going to be noticeable with this fire, but if you have a song, it's going to start over every single time you walk inside of this bigger sphere. And we don't want that. We don't want it to reset. So we're going to go ahead and set this as play when silent. So to do that, we actually have to open up the audio file. So back in the content drawer, here we have our fire. So we can go ahead and just double click on this. Now this looks like a lot of information. Uh, let me show you a quick little pro tip. Uh, the little gear that's up here in the top right hand corner, this little button right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and choose collapse all categories. This will collapse them all, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the voice management section right here. And this one, you will notice there is a virtualization mode and we're going to change this from restart every time we walk in that outer sphere to play when silent. Now, quick note about this. What this is gonna do is it's gonna take up one of the voices inside of your game and it'll just constantly be playing. So just be aware of that. So now with the set as play when silent, it'll play in the background and it'll pick up where it should be as if time has passed. So it's not pausing when you walk out of that outer sphere. So let's go ahead and say save and go back in here and we'll go ahead and play again. Actually, I'm just gonna right click and say play from here. So so let's go ahead and walk up to this. So there you have it. Now you know how to enable your meta sounds. Go ahead and get them playing through a wave player. Set it up so that if you do need it to loop, you can just make sure you get rid of that one node. And it'll actually play in the background and pick up where it should have as if time has passed, even though you have left that outer sphere. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I get a chance. And don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.